recommend that you grab something to sit on. So either a yoga block like what I have here or um, a small couch pillow, a rolled up towel, but we're just gonna use it to kind of elevate our hips. And that's gonna help us stay really nice and long um, and keep a neutral spine. So um, especially if you have a desk job, if you're sitting and studying, especially because spinals are coming up, um, you might get tight through your hip flexors and your hamstrings down the backs of your legs. Uh, so sitting up on something when you sit in a cross-legged position like this is really going to help um, keep your hips over top of your knees as well as uh, lengthen your low back. So go ahead and just find something, find a comfy spot. Hands can just rest to your knees. Sit up nice and tall. Take a deep inhale here. Roll your shoulders up by your ears and then exhale. Relax them down and back. Two more. Inhale, roll them up and exhale down. One more, inhale up, exhale down. And then if it feels right for you, just slowly close your eyes. We're just gonna pause here for a moment, just noticing how you're feeling today, how your breath feels. One more, deep inhale, and exhale. Last one like that, deep inhale. And exhale, this time drop your chin toward your chest, but stay long through the back of your neck, stay open across the collarbones, keeping your shoulder blades gently together on your back. So the rest of your spine is neutral, just your head dropping forward. Inhale it back up through center. And exhale, right ear to right shoulder. One more breath here. Inhale, head back up through center. And exhale, left ear, left shoulder. One more breath, again, staying neutral through the rest of your spine, so still sitting up tall. Inhale, your head back up. And then this time we're gonna extend the right arm out to the side. So you can blink open your eyes here if you would like. Um, fingertips pointing up to the sky or you can point them back behind you, whichever feels better for you. Inhale here and then exhale, left ear to left shoulder again. So this is a place that I'm really tight. So I can feel this stretch all the way from my ear down my arm and into like my pinky finger and my thumb. Yours might feel a little bit different. But still sitting up tall, think of reaching out through the heel of your hand and then just letting gravity do its work, letting that left uh, ear drop towards the shoulder. And inhale back up through center and release the hand down. We'll do the other side. So right arm, or I'm sorry, left arm, fingertips pointing to the sky or point them backwards, but the hand is flexed, reaching out through the heel of the hand. And inhale here and exhale, drop the right ear towards the right shoulder. Trying to keep your elbow relatively straight. You might have a little micro bend there. One more breath. Exhale here, inhale back up through center, release the hand back down. Let's inhale both arms out to a T and exhale, give yourself a little hug, right arm on top, left arm underneath, dropping your chin towards your chest, still sitting up nice and tall here. Just getting a nice little stretch through the back of the neck here, the back of the trapezius muscles, kind of in the tops of the shoulders there. Exhale here, inhale, arms back out. And exhale, left arm over top of right. Same thing, chin to your chest, just giving yourself a little bit of a hug. One more breath. Exhale here, inhale arms back out to a T. So you can see right there with that hug or right arm over top of left, crossing at the elbows. And then again at the wrist, bringing the palms together. Now the hands and arms should be like right between your eyes. You don't want them to one side or the other. And then lift the elbows up, just getting even more of a stretch through the back of the neck. One more breath. Exhale here, inhale arms out to a T. And same thing, left arm on top. You can do that hug again or cross at the elbows, cross again at the wrist, palms coming together. Lift the elbows up, gently drop the chin down. 
maybe you notice that one side feels different from the other, or one side you can do these eagle arms and the other you can't. That's normal. We're different from side to side on our body. One more breath. Exhale here, inhale the arms out to a T, and exhale, just release them down by your side. Let's put the hands to the knee. We're gonna do a few seated cat-cow poses. So deep inhale here, and then exhale, chin to chest, belly button to spine, tailbone scoops under, coming into a seated cat, just rounding through the thoracic spine, making space between your shoulder blades. And then inhale, kind of the opposite, tailbone lengthens back, open across the collarbone, shoulder blades come together on your back, chin lifts. And then exhale again, chin to chest, belly button to spine, tailbone scoops under. Other way, seated cow. One more, trying to move with your breath. Inhale, back up through neutral spine. Let's bring our hands to the sides. So let's inhale and sweep the left arm up and exhale, side bend to the right. But think of going up and over so you maintain space in this right side of your body. Wrap the left tricep in so the back of the arm scoops in by the face, keeping both sits bones, those bony protrusions at the bottom of your bum, rooted down into the prop you're sitting on. Exhale here, inhale back up through center. Exhale over to the left, left hand down, right arm up and over. Two more breaths. Exhale here, inhale, back up through center. And exhale, we're gonna to twist to the right. So bringing your arms out to a T or goal post, depending on what you have room for. Stay rooted down through your sits bones, open across the collarbone, shoulder blades come together. Maybe you look back over that right arm. Exhale here, inhale, oops, back up through center. And exhale, twisting to the left. Think of rooting down through the sits bones, lifting up through the rib cage. One more breath. Exhale here, inhale back up through center. Exhale, release the hands by your side. Let's come into all fours. So just gently place your prop off to the side. Wrists right under shoulders, knees under hips. We're gonna go ahead and tuck our toes under and go right into downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Little bend in the knees so your tailbone can lengthen up behind you. Prioritizing length through the spine over our heels being down, our legs being perfectly straight. So we're down through the thumb and first finger and wrap the triceps in, the backs of the arms wrap in towards your face. Heels float right up above the second toe, feet are parallel to each other. One more breath here, nice and strong. Bottom of the exhale, look towards your hands, hinge forward to plank pose. Reaching out to the crown of your head, back through your heels, press the thighs up and lengthen the tailbone down towards the back heels. Exhale, gently lower the knees down to the floor. Inhale here, shoulders come over top of the fingertips, so your whole body hinges forward slightly. And then exhale, lower down towards the floor, staying open across the collarbones, elbows stay in by your waist, really nice and slow, everything arrives at once. Inhale, head, chest, shoulders lift. Tops of your feet stay rooted down to the floor. Low ribs stay on the floor. So just a little teeny baby cobra at this point. Baby Bhujangasana. Elbows right over top of wrists. And exhale, lower back down. One more time, moving with the breath. Inhale, head, chest, shoulders lift. Back of your neck stays long, so we're not trying to look up, but looking down on the floor. And exhale, lower down. You can stay right there, um, or moving on to a modified upward dog. Let's tuck the toes under. So root down through the balls of your feet so much that you feel your thighs start to lift up off the floor. Lengthen your tailbone back. Exhale here and inhale up into upward facing dog. So you can keep this, that little cobra. Reach back through the heels, press the thighs up, open across the collarbone, wrap the triceps back. One more breath. Lift from the inner thighs, scooping your tailbone under, hips up and back, downward facing dog. One more breath here. If we're gonna do that again, moving with our breath this time. Exhale, look towards your hands, hinge forward plank pose, knees can be down. Inhale here, exhale, chaturanga, either all the way into that cobra or halfway, and then right into your upward facing dog, this time on the tops of your feet. 
Thighs are lifted up off the floor and up dog. Lifting your hips up and back, downward dog. And we'll do that a few times during our practice today. You can always skip it and go straight to down dog. And you don't have to go at my pace. Move with your own breath. One more breath here. Bottom of the exhale, look towards your hands, walk the feet forward, forward fold at the front of the mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. This is just the lengthening of your spine. Weight just forward into the balls of your feet. Shoulder blades come together on your back. Crown of your head reaches forward, tailbone reaches back. And exhale, fold. Coming all the way up to stand. Arms sweeping out and up. Urdhva Hastasana, upward facing hand pose. Palms face in together. Backs of your arms wrap in. Root down through your feet, lift up through the quadriceps. One more breath here. Exhale, release the hands by your side. Tadasana. Again, inhale, arms sweeping out and up. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, hinging from the hips, little bend in the knees. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, spine long. Exhale, step it back, plank right into your chaturanga. Shoulders come forward. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Hips up and back, downward dog. One more breath. Bottom of the exhale, look towards your hands. Let's step the right foot forward, the inside of the right thumb. And then heel toe it over to the left. Spin the left heel down, line up heel to arch here. Inhale, up for warrior two. Ribs and shoulders square towards the long edge of your mat. Tailbone lengthens down. This right hip lifts up and away from the thigh bone. That right knee points right over top of the second toe. Three breaths here, looking over the right fingertips, if that feels okay in your neck. One more breath here. And exhale, come into side angle. Right elbow to right knee, left arm sweeps up, bicep by the ear. So your fingertips are reaching towards the front of your mat. Then reach back through that back heel, pressing down through the pinky toe, and then engaging that back thigh. Looking up underneath of the left arm, if that feels okay in your neck. Sitting open across the chest here, keeping that right glute cheek wrapped under. One more breath. Exhale here, inhale back up to warrior two. And then go ahead and look towards the long edge of your mat. So like straight forward. And then let's cross the right arm over the left. Again, giving yourself that little hug or coming into these eagle arms. Three breaths here. Keeping your legs strong, lifting your ribs up away from your hips. Last breath. Exhale, release the arms out. Inhale here. And exhale, hands come down to frame that right foot. Let's step it back. You can go right to down dog or flow through your chaturanga, cobra or up dog, downward facing dog. One more breath. Bottom of your exhale, look towards your hands. Let's step the left foot forward to the inside of the left thumb. Let's heel toe it over to the right once or twice. So it's in the middle of the mat. Spin the left heel or right heel down, line up heel to arch. And then inhale up, warrior two. Scooping that left glute cheek under. Tailbone lengthens down, left hip wants to lift away from the thigh bone. So we're not letting our uh, left hip drop, lift it up. Arms come out to a T. You can gaze out over top of the uh, left fingertips. One more breath here. On your exhale, left elbow to left knee, tailbone lengthens back towards the back heel, right arm sweeps up by the right ear, palm faces down, tricep, the back of the arm wraps in. Maybe looking up underneath of that right arm. One more breath. 
Exhale, look down towards the left big toe and inhale back up to warrior two. Exhale, we're gonna bring the left arm over top of the right, palms together. Shoulders squared. I think my cat is trying to break into the room. Sorry if you can hear that. Shoulders square towards the long edge of your mat, lifting the elbows up in line with the shoulders. One more breath. Exhale here, inhale back out to warrior two. Inhale, exhale, hands come down to frame that front foot back, heel lifts up, step it back, three plank. You can go right to down dog or chaturanga, cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog. Three breaths here. One more. Bottom of the exhale, look towards your hands, step the feet forward. Forward fold at the front of your mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, spine long. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, weight shifts into your heels, hips sink back, arms sweep forward and up. Outer hips hugging in, root down through your whole foot. Triceps wrap in, knees point right over top of the second toe so your whole legs are parallel to each other. Maybe sit back a little bit further. One more breath. Exhale here, inhale through standing. Hands to your side, Tadasana. All right, let's face this long way on our mat. And then stepping your feet really nice and wide. So approximately heels underneath wrists if you put your arms out to a T. And then once you get that, you can bring your hands to your hips. Now, if that feels too wide, you can walk your feet a little bit closer together if that feels better in your knees, hips, um, anything like that. So heels right behind your second toe. So your feet and your whole legs are parallel to each other. Think of zipping your inner thighs together, root down to the feet, lift up to the crown of the head and hinge forward from the hips. Just walking the hands down the legs or maybe if you can keep your spine long, fingertips come to the floor right underneath of the shoulders. Weight has to shift really far forward into the balls of our feet here. And then lift up on those large thigh muscles, your quadriceps. One more breath here. Exhale here, hands back up to the hips, elbows point to the sky, a little bit of the knees, and come back up to stand. Let's um, externally rotate the legs. So just walk the heels in um, slightly. So your legs are now like 45-ish degrees out. Let's bring our hands to our hips. Inhale here and exhale, just lower hips straight down, knees bend. And again, pointing right over top of the second toe. So you wanna try and be able to see the big toe to the inside of your knee. So think of your inner thigh scooping up and over the thigh bone, tailbone lengthens down. Inhale your arms out and up for goddess pose. Three deep breaths here. One more. Exhale here, release the hands to your hips, stand back up, and then re-parallel your feet, walking your heels back out behind the second toe. We're gonna do another wide-legged forward fold. So root down to the feet, lift up to the quadriceps, and exhale, hinge forward from the hips. This time, so you can stay with the hands to the shin if you can't quite reach the floor. Um, but this time, if you can reach the floor, you're gonna try and walk the hands back to be in line with your big toes, about shoulder distance apart. And then from here, you can just relax the crown of your head down. But again, weight stays forward into the balls of your feet. Quadriceps stay lifted, and you're almost finding like a chaturanga shape with your upper body here. So you're using your hands to guide the crown of your head closer to the floor. But again, keeping the legs engaged, keeping the spine long. One more breath. Exhale here, hands come back up to the hips, elbows to the sky, come all the way up to stand. And we're gonna heel to our feet back together. And then we're gonna do a little balance thing here. So shake it out if you need to a little bit. All right, hands at the hips, root down to the left foot, hug the left hip in, hug the quadriceps up. Inhale, the right knee up to hip height. From here, we're gonna internally rotate the legs. So with just the, the thigh bone 
internally rotating in the hip socket. So your ankle is going to come out to the side, trying to keep your hips neutral and then cross it over the midline. So adducting it, bringing it towards the center, externally rotate it. Like you were going to like buckle the inside of your shoe and then bring it out to the outside. Let's do that again. So you're just making like a little figure eight almost with the knee. Trying to keep your hips nice and still, making this movement come from the thigh bone, rotating and abducting and abducting in the hip socket. So after a few times, bring it back through neutral, sit it back down, we'll do the other side. So shake out that left foot if you need to, root down through the right foot, lift up on the quadricep, hug the hip in, inhale, knee up to hip height. So first we're going to internally rotate it. So taking the foot out to the side, adduct it, bringing it towards the center, externally rotate it, bringing your, the inner ankle up to the sky and then uh, abduct it out to the side. So again, just making these little like figure eight kind of things here, just playing around with how that bone moves in the hip socket. Okay, bring it back to neutral, sit it down, shake it out. We'll come back up to the top of the mat. Feet about hips distance apart. Standing here in Tadasana, take a breath. Exhale here, inhale, arms sweep forward, hips sink back, Upatasana. Three breaths here. Outer hips hugging in, it's really nice and stable here. And exhale. Forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, reaching the crown of your head forward. You can go right to down dog or flow through your Chaturanga, Cobra or up dog, downward facing dog. Two more breaths. Bottom of the exhale, look towards the hands and we're gonna step the right foot forward to the pinky side of the right hand. So we're wider than hips distance here. That uh, right knee is gonna be glued to the outer right tricep, the back of the arm. Keep the hands right underneath of the shoulder. Reach back through that back heel and press the thigh up to the sky. So we're in kind of a lizard pose here. So we're trying not to let our left hip drop. One more breath. Okay. On your next exhale, step the foot back to downward facing dog. We'll do the other side. Bottom of your exhale, look towards your hands. We're going to step the left foot forward to the outside of the left hand, so to the pinky side. The knee is glued to that tricep. Reach back to the right heel, press the right thigh up. Reach out through the crown of the head. Three breaths here. One more breath. On your exhale, step it back through plank, hips up and back, downward dog. One more breath here. Bottom of your exhale, look towards the hands. Let's set the right foot forward to the inside of the right thumb. A little bit in that back knee, inhale up, high lunge on Janiyasana. So we wanna keep a micro bend in that back knee so we can lengthen the tailbone down and not over arch in our low back. Outer hips hugging in, front knee bent right over top of the front heel. Arms are up just as in her Urdhva Hastasana. So palms face together, triceps wrap in, elbows nice and straight. One more breath here. From here, uh, bring your arms out to a T if you have room or goal post if you don't. And then we're gonna, again, give yourself a hug or right arm over top of left in that hug or eagle arms crossing at the elbows and the wrists. Inhale here and exhale. You're gonna hinge forward from the hips, keeping the spine long, almost tapping the elbows towards the knee and inhale back up. Two more times, exhale. Inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale. Release the arms back out to a T or goal post. Bring them up overhead. Inhale here. Exhale, hands down to frame the front foot. Step it back. Plank. You can go right to down dog or flow through your chaturanga, cobra or up dog, downward facing dog. Two more breaths here in down dog. Bottom of the exhale, look towards the hand, step the left foot forward to the inside of the left thumb. Feet are hips distance apart. Tiny bend in the back knee. Inhale, arms forward and up. High lunge, Anjani Asana. So think of lengthening through your waist, lifting the ribs up away from the hips. Reaching back through that back heel. One more breath here. Bringing your arms out to a T or goal post. And again, giving yourself that hug or crossing left elbow over right and then wrapping at the wrist. Inhale here. Exhale, hinge forward, making length in your spine, tapping the elbows to the knee. Inhale, back up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Arms come back out to a T or goal post, and then up overhead. Exhale, hands come down to frame the left foot, step it back, plank, chaturanga, cobra, or upward facing dog, hips up and back, downward dog. One more breath. the bottom of your exhale, look towards the hands, let's step the right foot forward to the inside of the right thumb, and then gently lower the back knee down. Um, you can uncurl the toes here. Let's plant that left hand to the floor underneath the left shoulder and inhale open to the right, taking a little twist. You can look up towards the right hand, staying rooted through the right big toe so the knee doesn't fall out to the side. One more breath. Exhale, unwind. And then we're gonna walk are the hands back and the hips back um, over top of that back knee, lift up on the front toes, opening through the back of that right leg. Ardha Hanumanasana. One more breath. Exhale. Walking the hands back forward. Tuck the left toes under, lift the left knee, step it back, plank, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, downward dog. Bottom of the exhale, look towards your hands, step the left foot forward to the inside of the left hand. Gently place the right knee down to the floor and curl the right toes. Right hand comes underneath of the right shoulder. Inhale, open to the left, looking up towards the left hand. Three breaths. One more breath here. Exhale, unwind. Walking the hands back, hips come back over the back knee, looking up on the left toes, three breaths here. The bottom of your exhale, walk your hands back forward, tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee up, step it back through plank, your choice, chaturanga, cobra or upward facing dog, downward facing dog.
One more breath here. Bottom of the exhale, look towards the hand. Let's step the right foot forward, the inside of the right thumb. We're gonna heel toe it out once to the right. Spin the left heel down. So you're about hips distance apart. Root down to the pinky toe. Think of that back inner thigh spinning in. And inhale your arms forward and up for Virabhadrasana one. Root down through that right big toe, trying to bend the right knee over top of that right heel. Tailbone lengthens down. One more breath here. Let's place the hands to the hips. We're gonna heel toe the right foot towards the left, hug the right hip under, and then square the shoulders and the arms to the long edge of your mat. Maybe you might feel like you need to widen your stance a little bit and walk this left foot back, you can. So we're now lined up heel to arch, we're in Virabhadrasana two. Exhale, find those eagle arms again, right arm over top of the left, palms together, or your little hug. Stand up really nice and tall, make space through both sides of your waist and exhale. We're gonna hinge forward, as in um, side angle pose, but this time arms staying in the seagull pose. See if you can keep your hands like right between your eyeballs. Keep your right big toe root down, your right hip hugging in. Inhale back up, arms coming out to a T. Exhale, hands to the floor, chaturanga. Cobra or upward dog and downward dog. bottom of your exhale, look towards the hand, step the left foot forward to the inside of the left thumb. You're going to heel toe it out to the left once, spin the right heel down, root down to the pinky toe, spin the right thigh in, inhale up, warrior one. One more breath here. Exhale, let's release the hands to the hips. You're gonna to heel toe the left foot over to the right, and you might be able to like do one action and move it kind of out as well, and then square the arms to the long edge of your mat, hugging this left glute cheek in and under. Warrior two. Let's exhale, bringing the left elbow over top of the right, palms together, or giving yourself that hug with the left arm on top. Lengthen the tailbone down, lift up through both sides of your ribs. Hinge from that left hip forward, keeping the hands right between the eyeballs, so kind of in line with your nose. Reach out through the crown of your head, back through that back heel. Exhale here, inhale back up. Exhale, release the arms. Inhale here. Exhale, hands come down to frame the front foot. Step it back. Plank, chaturanga, inhale, cobra or upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Three breaths. One more here. Bottom of the exhale, look towards the hands, walk the feet forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Uttanasana. Hips sink back, arms sweep forward. Two more breaths here. One more. Exhale here, come all the way up to stand. Release the hands to the sides, Tadasana. All right, come to face, well, really you can face whatever side you want. I'm gonna face the long edge so I can face you. Um, we're gonna do eagle pose here. So let's start um, with our feet about hips distance apart. Inhale arms out to a T. Let's see if we can do this all at once. So root down through the left foot, lift the right arm up and over. We're gonna cross left arm over right, right leg over left, hip sink back, just like an Ukatasana, but in that one leg, and then palms together, or that little hug. And maybe you can reach your toes around the calf, the right toe around the left calf. Hip sink back, outer hips hug in. You can stay right here or inhale, exhale, 
tapping the elbows to the knee, and inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. One more breath on your next inhale. Release it all and sit it down. Shake it out. We'll do the other side. So we're down through this um, right leg. Outer hips hug in right away. Arms come out to a T. Let's lift the left knee up in line with the hip. And then we're gonna cross left arm, left leg over right leg, right arm over left arm. Crossing the elbows, crossing the hands, hips sink back. Outer hips hug in, long through your waist. Maybe you can get that toe around the back calf. Inhale here, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, option to skip this. You can stay in that eagle. Inhale, it's tricky on your balance. Exhale, inhale, exhale here, inhale, let it all go. Exhale, shake it out. All right, come back up to the top of the mat, Tadasana. Inhale, arms sweeping on that. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. And then right away, let's step the left foot back to the back of the mat. We're gonna to heel to the right foot, to the left, bringing the foot behind the left wrist, knee behind the right wrist. You can bring the heel closer to the hip here and then walk the left leg back. If you have a lot of space between that right hip and the floor, you can take your prop from earlier and put it there if that feels better in your body. Or you can roll over onto your back and do a figure four pose. So sit up nice and tall here, lengthen your tailbone back and lift your sternum up, open across the collarbones, shoulder blades together on your back. Three breaths here. Exhale, hands come back underneath of the shoulders. Let's tuck the uh, left toes under, step the right foot back, downward facing dog. Bottom of your next exhale, look towards the hand. We're gonna step the left foot forward inside of the left thumb. Heel toe the left foot over behind the right wrist. Knee sits down behind the left wrist. That left heel can come in towards the right hip if you need, walk that right leg back behind you. It should be straight back from the hip. And again, placing a prop under that left hip might give you a little support there that will feel better in your body. Or you can roll over onto your back for a figure four. We're gonna lengthen the tailbone back and then lift the sternum up. Think of maintaining space between your low back ribs and your sacrum. Shoulder blades together on your back, gently kind of moving them forward toward your ribs. Maybe you look up a little bit, but not craning the head way back, but just like a continuation of the rest of the curve in your spine. Two more breaths. One more. Exhale, hands come back under the shoulders. Let's tuck the right toes under, lift up on the right knee. This time we're gonna lift up and step the left foot back under us. Or you can go to down dog and then step it forward, whatever feels better for you. And then step the right foot up to meet the left forward fold. Exhale here, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, standing up, Urdhva Hastasana. Releasing your hands by your side, Tadasana. All right, feet, hips distance apart, heels behind the second toe. We're going to, I need a little more room for me. We're gonna interlace the hands behind the back. So you can interlace the hands all the way up to the webbing, keeping the heels of your hands together. We wanna to avoid doing this. So heels of the hands together and then wrap the tricep back, open up across the front of your chest. Root down to the feet, let's stand up nice and tall. Exhale, hinge from the hips, arms come up and over. Keep the weight forward into the balls of your feet so the hip stays over top of the heel. Just relax the crown of your head down. 
little tiny bend in the elbows so they're not locked out. One more breath. Exhale, let's gently release the hands to the floor and then slowly walk the feet back, downward facing dog. One more breath here. Gently place the knees down to the floor, big toes in the touch, hips to heels, child's pose. Exhale here, inhale, walking the hands back up, coming up to seated. Let's just gently bring the legs around in front of us and lay down onto your back. So feet flat to the floor, about hips distance apart, heels right underneath of your knees, and then feet parallel to each other, heels behind the second toe. Let's hold on to the outer edges of our mat and use that to walk your triceps um, back, opening across your chest, shoulder blades come together. Root down through the backs of your arms, so press down through your arms, root down through the feet, and inhale, lift your hips up, bridge pose. So tailbone lengthens towards the back of the knees, and then imagine you have a ball or a block between your knees so that they stay pointing over top of the second toe. And then maybe you can walk your shoulder blades and your triceps in a little bit more, opening uh, across the chest a little more. One more breath. Exhale, gently release the shoulders, release the hips. Just take a breath here. And we'll do that again. Root down to the feet, root down to the backs of the arm. Inhale, lift the hips up, walking the triceps and the shoulder blades together. Maybe you can interlace the hands behind the back. Keep space between your chin and your chest like you had a piece of fruit there, so we're not closing off our airway. Release the hands, gently release the hips. One more time, inhale, lift the hips up, scoop the tailbone under, making space in your low back, walking the triceps in, maybe interlacing the fingers. Can you think of which finger was on top last time and do the opposite this time? If you didn't pay attention, it's probably the one that feels weird. One more breath. Exhale, release the hands, walk the shoulder blades out, hips to heels. I'm sorry, hips to the floor. Um, let's gently uh, windshield wiper the legs side to side. And then allow the knees to fall over to the left. Pausing here with the feet about hips distance apart, knees are spread. So you're getting a nice little stretch across the front hip flexor here. Inhale the knees back up through center. And exhale them over to the other side. So this is more of a rotation in the hips than it is a back bend. So the feet are still separated, knees are still separated. It's gonna stretch, you might feel it, across this hip. Inhale the knees back up through center. This time finding that twist. So let's move the hips over to the right bring the knees over top of the hips and then exhale them over to the left. Arms can come out to a T or a goal post. One more breath here. Inhale the knees back up through center. Lower the feet to the floor to shift the hips over to the opposite side. Knees come over top of the hips and then lower them to the right. Try to keep your shoulders down to the floor here. One 
One more breath. Exhale here, inhale the knees back up through center, lower the feet to the floor, bring the hips back to the center. And then we will make our way into Shavasana, final relaxation pose. So you can extend the legs down the mat or leave the knees bent if that feels better in your low back. Hands can just rest to the side, palms face up. You can close your eyes here. Just take a few moments to find a position where you can just be still and be quiet. At the beginning of our practice today, we briefly discussed trying to stay present in our mind on our mats during our practice. How did you do? Did you let your mind wander? Let's take these last few moments here in Shavasana to do the same thing, trying to stay present right here, right now not thinking about what we have to do the rest of the day, but just enjoying the stillness and the quiet, both in your body and your mind. Slowly begin to bring your awareness back into your body and back into your breath. Inviting movement back into your body, wiggling your fingers and toes, maybe rolling out your ankles and wrists. Just gently roll to one side and press yourself back up to a comfortable seated position. Take one more breath here together before completing our practice. Exhale here, inhale, arms sweeping out and up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste. Thank you again. My name is Joella. I'm with UMBC Rec. I hope you enjoyed your practice. Have a great day.